Welcome back to Homeschooling with Mrs. Miller. Today's lesson is 702B. This is part two of your who and did what. Understanding that a sentence has two main parts, what as adults we call the subject and the predicate. For the first graders and second graders, to find that subject and predicate, we ask two simple questions, who and did what. life for them and the fact that we color code parts of speech it makes it so much easier for these kiddos to learn so dogs barked our complete who was dogs our complete did what was barked very simple sentence what we're looking for is the noun in the complete who what is the noun in the complete who dogs so we're going to underline dogs green what is the verb or verbs in the complete did what? Barked. So we're going to underline it yellow. The second sentence, the big dog jumped. Remember, we underlined the complete who with one line, the big dog. Now what we're doing is trying to find the noun, the one noun in the complete who. The one noun in the complete who is dog. So we're going to underline dog green. Now we're looking for the verb or verbs in the complete did what? And that verb would be jumped. So we underline jumped yellow. She sees the box. What is your noun in the complete who? She. We underline it green. And actually she is a pronoun. And pronouns we actually circle with a green. She sees the bus. What is your verb or verbs in the complete did what? Sees. So we underline sees with yellow. His old dad was yelling. What is your noun in the complete who? Dad. So we underline dad green. Our complete did what was yelling. Hmm, this one here, we have two verbs, was and yelling. So we have to underline was and yelling with yellow. My little car is driving. The noun in the complete who. We're looking for the noun in the complete who. Car. Car is your noun. We underline car with green. Is driving. Is is a verb and driving is a verb. So we have to underline both yellow. This man will help. We are looking for the noun in the complete who. The noun in the complete who is man. So we underline man with one line green and we want to find the verb or verbs in the complete did what. Will help. Both of those are verbs. Will and help. So this is a great visual way. They are associating now that anytime we underline something with green, it's a noun. When we underline with yellow, we're talking about the verbs. So very visual, very, very visual. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. I hope this makes sense to find the subject and the predicate of sentences. We ask the two simple question, questions, who and did what. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.